Welcome to IC3D. Today we're going to look at an NLA workflow that I am creating and using in the current animation that I'm making, um, which you've just saw a sort of a sneak peek to, which is uh, basically some testing. Now, recently my son discovered Minecraft, um, and upon that, he's also discovered a lot of Minecraft videos on YouTube, which I have seen a lot of. Um, it is enormous and I didn't realize how many there, how many there were and how big it was. So I am now creating some animations mainly just to impress my son but also because uh, it's quite interesting to do in Blender. And I thought I might share with you my workflow. Now this is not an NLA tutorial, this is more of a workflow how you can put it all together, how you can source animations and rigs and things like that to make an animation in Blender. Now, let's get started. So, the first thing I want to go over is the rig. Now, it's pretty important to how you operate um, in what rig you use. So, this one is uh, one from, uh, it's called SS Stone R2. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it's got a lot of features, it's really good, but there are some, t some technical things you need to get over to make it work um, with motion caption data and uh, it's pretty good. Um, there's a couple of other ones like if you want to use the BPS rig, um, V3, you, you get that from their Discord server which works a bit easier but doesn't have uh, nearly as much options in terms of the rig. So um, what I do is I'll grab a, a animation from Miximo, um, I'll bring that in, import it as an FBX, so let me just grab one and I'll do that now. Okay, and it's important to note um, before you import an FBX, if you want it to make sense to yourself when you're watching it, you don't have to do this, but it really does help. Um, go into the armature settings, click ignore leaf bones and automatic bone orientation. And that'll just make the skeleton look like an actual skeleton and not, and not like a complete mess. Um, so I'm actually gonna choose this sword and shield attack. Import that. It's now imported and I'm just going to move it across to the side to here. Now, if we press play, you'll see that attack that it's doing, which is great. Um, but the issue is I've also got to extend this. I'm going to extend it out to 45 uh, so we can see all of the animation. Um, and then what we need to do now is apply this animation to this rig. So you can see this rig already has an animation set to it, which is on this uh, this action editor here. So I'm just going to press this X to um, take off that animation on this rig, and I'm going to jump quickly jump into pose mode because I find if we uh, sorry not pose mode for that rig, pose mode for this rig, and I'm going to go to pose clear transform all and that's going to put it in its default state. Now the thing to note is most rigs, uh, especially in the Minecraft world for some reason, they put them in this pose, I don't know what this, it's not an A pose, or it might be an A pose, it's like a arms by your side pose, um, which doesn't work well with the Mixmo rigs by default because they come in a T pose which is their rest. So if I jump into object mode, click on this armature onto the armature settings, click rest pose. You can see this is a T pose. Now, uh, when you remap, this matters a lot. Um, if you don't do this, you'll have a bad time. So make sure you uh, redo your pose to match them up. Otherwise, it's not gonna work well. So to do that, what I am using is a plugin called uh, Auto Rig Pro. It has a remapping feature. Um, you don't have to use this. This does cost money, but there is a free um, Rococo version, uh, a, a Rococo add-on, which here it is down here, which you can use to remap as well for retargeting. Uh, it doesn't come with as many features and you need to make, you'll need to redo your pose um, before you retarget. Whereas within the AutoMap Pro, uh, I can do that uh, as a part of the process without having to go through the rigmarole of applying an armature and retargeting, uh, redoing the pose and applying it and having a lot of issues with shape keys and that sort of thing. So um, what that means now is that if I jump over here, make sure this is selected, uh, go into the source armature, 
there you go, you've got the armature selected and this armature here is also selected. I can press auto scale and what's that's, what that's going to do is push that up there. Um, for some reason this, this animation came back so what I'm going to do is just come back on here and make sure I've gotten rid of all those animations. Transforms all. Okay. Okay, good. No more animations on there. Okay, and then I have then. Then the next part is you'll need to um, line up all the bones. So, a good way of doing this is uh, going through each part of the uh, rig. Now, depending on the rig, this will depend on what you do. But effectively, on the Mixamo rig, you've got a head. You've got to line it up to the head bone. You've got a, a hip bone. You've got to line it up to your root bone for your um, for your armature over here, um, and so forth. And you can keep them going through. Uh, if you use, if you do decide to use the um, this rig here, just keep in mind you probably want to update some of the um, bone constraints so they don't bend too far. So uh, what I've done down here is I've just uh, put in a, uh, adjusted this limit rotation on these axes with this uh, settings here so the arms don't come out a bit weird. So once you have uh, aligned up all your bones you are ready to retarget. Um, there is an IK feature if your rig is using IK but uh, if you can use FK, use FK it just seems to work a lot better. So what I'm going to do next is click on redefined rest pose and then I'm going to click OK. And what that's going to do is put our animation into its rest pose. Now what I want to do here is match it up to my current uh, pose. So I'm going to hit RY90 and click on the shoulder here and then click RY-90 and it's going to put that down like that. And it's going to match it up to like this and the, the reapply of uh, the retargeting is going to work a whole lot better. Click apply and uh, we're ready now. So um, just keep in mind the first time you do this you have to do a build bone list. Uh, I've already done it obviously because I've uh, had a lot of animations come in. Um, but in order to retarget, you click on this retarget, just make sure you're happy with the frame start and uh, end times and then click OK. Once that happens, uh, you'll see your animation or your rig now is currently looking like the animation and if we drag across the timeline here, it is going to uh, mimic our animation. So that's good. We have an animation. If you find that there is anything in here that's not looking right, you can go through your bone list and retarget again. Um, you can then do any modifications using, again, this interactive tweak. So um, go in plus and minus it. Um, so you have to click it on here. So let's go arm, elbow, go plus, plus, plus. So it starts moving it so you can uh, put it in a better position if you find. Now, uh, once you have done that, um, click on I'm going to go back into object mode and I'm just going to rename the action and I'm just going to rename this to uh, sword slash something like that and now I have an action and I can use this repeatedly uh, for whenever I need it, modify it, make a new animation or add stuff to it um, and then what I can then do is open up my um, my and my actual scene that I'm working on so I'm just gonna hit save control s to save and I'm just gonna open up my other scene so in here this is currently uh, where we up to and this would have been what you saw on the intro um, and this is where we currently sit at with this animation what I'm gonna do is just create a new scene uh, I'm gonna call it uh, just a new one keep it blank and I'm going to import uh, my, or I'm going to append the rig. Okay, so I've appended that. And so now I have a rig and as if I click on here, you can see um, there is uh, all the actions from before that I imported into this file, but uh, I want that new one I've just created. So not to clutter this too much and have all uh, animations rig uh, are going uh, everywhere. I've kept those in a separate file. Uh, so to get that in, what you do is you go to append, um, find your animation file. 
So for me that was this one here and go into the actions folder and you can then import that action. So this sword slash is the one I just had. Um, so I've imported it, nothing's happened, but if you go to down here, uh, you should see it in your list of actions. So this sword slash right there and it's applied. So now if I go like that, we've got this in our scene and again, we can then push this down, uh, change this to click on that. It's shown you selected, find the animation. Here it is. And we can then edit it to our heart's content uh, for whatever we need. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you can then um, repeat that process, uh, do all your other Blender stuff to make a great animation. And uh, yeah, so I hope you've uh, found this informational. Um, if you want any questions answered, please comment below, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that stuff. Um, until next time, guys. Bye. See you later.